So when you want to practice creative thinking, asking a lot of questions is a good thing. You know, is there a better way? Why do we do things this way? A lot of times companies get entrenched in, in policies. Now policies are important because policies are necessary to ensure the replication of a high quality productive process so that you always get the same result. But policies can also lead to bureaucratic thinking of, well, we're doing it this way because we've always done it this way. And so entrepreneurs have to constantly be practicing the thought process of, well, why are we doing it this way? How did we get to this point? What have we tried before? And then looking for new ways to do things. And that means you have to have time to, to daydream. You have to have time to sit and think. Uh, you might want to play some thought experiments, uh, mental games. And most importantly, understand that one of the most critical concepts related to creative thinking and innovation is failure. And, you know, a lot of companies that are very successful that do a lot of innovating uh, live by the mantra that don't be afraid of failure. If you're going to fail, fail early, learn quickly, improve, try again, and repeat that process. So failure is not something to, to necessarily be afraid of. Now, it's not something to be embraced, but it's not something to be afraid of as long as you learn from the failure and find a way to move forward and improve the process the next time. You know, you look at um, how Elon Musk is getting his um, SpaceX rockets to launch. And one of the reasons why he is producing, I don't know how many of y'all are watching what uh, SpaceX is doing, but they're building these, they think they call them starships, they're rockets, and they, they, got, they have basically an assembly line where they're building them in the fastest that anybody's ever built, rocket after rocket after rocket. And his philosophy is really very simple. It's gonna take a lot of iterations to get this right. So the faster we build them and the faster we experiment and the faster we fail, the sooner we get to the point where we have a successful design that we can then scale up in high volume, reducing the cost of launching rockets. And that's an incredible concept that's been put into um, process with, with something you wouldn't think of. I mean, rockets are incredibly expensive. So it just goes to show that, you know, he understands the iterative process of fail early, fail often, fail early. Uh, I may not be getting them in the right sequence, but fail early, fail often, learn from your mistakes, try again, and repeat that process until you got it right.